Welcome to the final face-off! Yay! After weeks of competing, our dieters will now weigh themselves- Oh wait, that's a different show. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Hi! I am very excited to play this. Um, how many do we got left? One, two, three- My! Yes! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> We're so close to the finish! Oh my god! This is the Darts arc. This was like originally DLC. Uh, but who cares about that? Because we're about to do this. The time had come for the final face off Yugi versus Merrick with the fate of the world hanging in the balance. I have been waiting for this moment my entire life. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed of the perfect day with the perfect man. Will you be mine, Yugi? Uh, oh, so soon your infinite power will be mine. I will not be yours. I've just busy. <laughs> I've just finished filleting Kaiba. And he back to me. Right? Never mind. Merrick, not only will I defeat you, I will fuck you. <laughs> I will free you from the darkness that controls you. <laughs> oh, now that I'd like to see. Wow. Shortest story thing ever. They were really like, yeah, just get this, do the city shit done with, please. Someone on the stuff didn't like it. First to go. Oh, second to go. I always get confused. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. You, you have my sincerest apologies. Ow. What a shitty hand. Oh, wait, I've got multiply. I rescind my shitty hand comment. I have an idea. I summon my hairy testicles. Hello! I play multiply. Suck on all of these nuts. One. Two. Three. Guess what's next? Four. That's right, four. And then again, five. Ah, <laughs> yeah, see, we learn together, Merrick. I said one card. I'm setting this because I don't want him to have it. And then I want him to have this because it takes away a huge chunk of his life points. And if I have to exchange a card with him, I will. Ooh! Okay, cannot be normal summon. Supposed to be special summon to your opponent's side of the field, but tributing two monsters they control. Ah, hells yes. Thank you, baby. Stop it! I, I hate you. We're supposed to be enemies. I end my turn, baby. STOP THAT! Oh, you baiting me, baby. I summon Dark Geroid. The roids? They're from TX, though. No, that's funny, but that's not actually what I meant. Am I losing- Am I losing the voice? Yeah, ha <laughs> ha. Guess what, baby cakes? Stop that! Stop flirting with me! It's making me very sexually confused. I summon Lava Golem! Doesn't he look like pizza crust? Yeah, a little, actually. Anyway, Swords of Revealing Light! Thou, thou! He's gonna take 1,000 life points every turn, folks! <laughs> I've also given him a really powerful monster, so this may come back and burn my butthole. Oh, he's gonna take so much more damage. I use your own card against you and use and summon Gilgarth and Dark Geroid back from the dead. Oh, you're weakening my Kariba. I'm so frightened. Oh, I can use Soul Exchange if I get a high tribute. The one time I don't get a high tribute with this deck. I set a card. And I end my little turn. Ah, draw. Ah, it burns like chlamydia. I'm going to kill you, Pharaoh. Stop underestimating, undermining me, fucking jerk. Come here, baby. You're my butterfly. Ah, oh, crap. Ah. Uh. Oh well. Uh, this, this isn't the worst outcome that could have possibly happened. I did half his life points, and I didn't even lift a finger. Bane face. What the fuck am I playing? 
Monsters cannot attack with- Oh, that's just gonna irritate me. It's gonna slow me down. No, I'm not gonna do that. I end my turn! Yes, Pharaoh, yes! Cower before me! No. Please? I've- I've worked really hard for this, no. Just no, that's it. Yep. No. Come on. You cannot attack your opponent takes any battle damage. Uh Uh No, not yet. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take a direct hit for this turn, I think. If I can't use magical hats on Kariba. Uh, Khan? What the hell? He's not attacking! Uh, he's gonna do what I did to him. A pot of greed. Helpful! Oh, wait. If you control a spellcaster, which I don't! Game's making pretty goddamn sure of that! I play Fiend Sanctuary. I summon Metal Fiend token. And, um, I'm actually genuinely not happy having Boginian on the field. I know I should save this card for, like, Ra or something, but I don't think it affects Ra. So I'm ending my turn. Damn it! I was going to do damage to your life points. And then you'd have to strip- Ow! I hurt myself! That's fine, he hurts himself. I thought it was invincible, the, the token. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Well, now this is the Yugi dick I'm used to. Dead draw city after it was all going so well. <laughs> I'm, I'm having so much fun. Ugh. It's like graduation all over again, except people are here to see this. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> yes, yes! I set a monster! And I'm gonna set a card. Yep. Uh, alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now hold on. Now hold on, folks! Now we need to take a serious look at it. You control spellcaster, target one monster you control. Tribute that target. Spit someone one spellcaster from your hand, then sh you can destroy a monster in the field. Good. Alright, this is gonna get messy before it gets better, but it will hopefully still be getting better soon. No, uh, activate magical heads after he he attacks, because then he'll still take a lot of damage. <laughs> Ow! Now I'll activate it and get rid of some dead draws. This is going pretty smoothly. All right, dead draws, dead draws, dead, 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 dead draws. This is a dead draw. This is a dead draw. I summon two magical hats. And like Kaiba, if you can guess the right one, you'll get a special little kiss. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't want that. <laughs> why? Why would I want that kiss from you? <laughs> the fuck? Ah, uh, card swallow. The winged dragon of Ra, isn't she beautiful? No. It's kind of weak too. Shut up! Okay, hold on. I want to see something. Uh. Cannot be special summon. It requires three tributes to normal summon. This card's normal summon cannot be negated. With normal summon, blah 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 blah, life point. Uh. Oh! He's not a. He, oh! I, I think I may have won this. No, I will destroy him. But, uh, I won't be able to attack this turn. But that's fine. It's fine. I tribute Big Shield, Big Dick Gardener, to summon a blonde woman! Pretty! Yay! So gay, so festive. Yeah, I know. But why don't you hurt me for some more cards? I tribute my blonde woman. What? Why? To summon my blonde man? Question mark? He's blonde? I guess? No, he's not. Bullshit! <laughs> Dark magician. Destroy your card, wee oui, wee, oui, monsieur. Bye. Ah, my dragon! Fudge, 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 fudge. Everybody, fudge. Can I battle? He was summoned this turn, so no, technically not. 
Ah, god, I hope this attack goes through. How cool would that be if I won on my first attempt with him? Oh yes, I would like to do this very much. I could summon Bobolix. Should I summon Bobolix this turn, guys? <gasps> oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should summon Bobolix or not. Fuck it, right? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If I use Soul Exchange, I can summon Bobolix. And then, and then, he's only got 100 life points. Okay, do you know what? To fromage. fromage. Jeez. For some reason, I'm saying that. This one, this one, this one. Ooh, ooh let's do it, guys. And that's gonna, I'm gonna gain a thousand life points, but I'm also gonna lose a bunch because of his stupid coffin cellar. I summon Obelix! The Tormentor! Ah. Wait, is sent to the graveyard. They were sent to the graveyard. I don't know why I'm not gaining that, losing that damage, but I'm not complaining. <gasps> oh, guys, this could be the final hit. Ah. Are you gonna get hit, bitch? Obelisk, please. I summon Metal Reflect Slime. It's not strong enough. <laughs> I know. But it is strong enough to irritate. I summon King's Knight. Hello. I am the King's Knight. Burger King's Knight. Would you like a Whopper? Whopper? I hardly know her. <laughs> King's Knight, stop laughing with the enemy. Oh, you're late, bitch. She would, though. She would. She's always doing stuff like that. Because she has to be on the field. And then I need to summon him, which is a stupid effect. But for the time, I guess it's pretty useful. Whatever. Hey, guess what? What rhymes with giant fat whisk? I don't know. Giant fat fist! Oh no! I won Battle City! Woo! Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ishizu puts two hands in her pants, thrusts, and then sniffs them. What? Mas Master Mary! <laughs> Please can I have some water? I'm awake now. Brother. Brother, did you see my rude taunt? Smell my hands. Ashiza, that's disgusting! <laughs> Merrick, it's over. Your evil side has been banished forever. Now you're a good boy, right? No. I still fucking hate you, but whatever. It's finally over, my pharaoh. Yes. And you know what that means? Yes. One fellatio coming up. Yes, and the darkness is lifted from your heart. Oh, oh. <laughs> Merrick has overpowered the evil that controlled him for so long. My Pharaoh, thank you. You saved mankind. We did. I wouldn't have been victorious if it not had been for all of you. Hello. What's the truth? Everybody who was blinded by Shadow Realm <laughs> by my dark side will return. Thank you. Oh, for letting me finish. <laughs> That's disgusting. What the hell's wrong with me today? I have one more task to perform. Spread your legs. <laughs> Before my Tomb Keeper's mission is complete. Witness the secret of the Pharaoh's power inscribed on my back. Oh, what a beautiful ass. Pharaoh, pay attention to my back. All right, right, right. These markings were passed down by my family from generation to generation for 5,000 years. You mean after pic photos were, were, like cameras were invented? Yeah. So why is it carved on your back when you could have just shown me in a photo? Fuck! Why, why didn't we think of that? Do you know how much this hurts? He used a hot blade to do this shit! Why didn't we think of this, Ashizu? We were taught, <laughs> we were taught that when the ancient pharaoh saved the world from destruction, he wiped his own memory clean because he's an idiot. But he knew that someday he would return, and he'd need his memory back. So, like, why did he wipe it? Bitch should have gotten a USB. Fuck my throat! That is only slightly better. So he entrusted one family member with his greatest secret. The I'm turning into my brother. 
The key to unlock. Ah! <laughs> My throat. Ah! Ah! I'm being very loud today. I'm sorry. I need to. The key to unlocking his mind and his power and his cock. Now that you hold the three Egyptian god cards and the Millennium Puzzle, all you need is love. And this stew recipe. It's time for us to leave now, Pharaoh. So please take this. My Millennium Cock Rod belongs with you. Where it won't cause any more harm. <laughs> You're so naive. Thank you. And take this as well. My Millennium Cock Ring. <laughs> it is actually. That is what I'm giving. The Millennium Ring is safest with you. With Yugi now possessing all the Millennium items except for the fucking. The, 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 what's my call it? The scale, which no one does, it doesn't do anything. No one does anything with it in the modern world, at least. I think. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, with Yugi now possessing all the Millennium items and the three Egyptian gods, he could now make sure that the Shadow Games would never return. I think they totally return. They're in GX and I even think they're in Zexel. I get the wing dragon of Rob, my ass. <laughs> All right, a new evil. Finally, a Joey duel. Is this the last Joey? No, it's not the last Joey duel. Thank God. Oh God, my throat hurts too much for Mai to be back, but I, I'm so excited to do her voice. Hold on, let me finish this. Hmm. Again, that's hardly made a difference. After Yugi Moto's victory of Americ, I said Yugi Moto because you don't know who Yugi is, right? We've never encountered him in the story. So I don't know why I'm full naming him. Yugi collect- I know he collected all the three god cards. Fuck, are you slow? Are you stupid? Did he not pay any attention? Are you stupid? However, they would not remain in his possession for long. Panic ensued as real monsters appeared all over the, all over the world. Worse still, Yugi's Egyptian god cards were stolen by three unknown assassins. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's get some perspective. The real monsters is not- like, losing three trading cards is not worse- worse than real monsters attacking. But get some perspective, you nerd. No, how could this have happened? Real fucking monsters! Grandpa, are you alright? Yugi, they're gone. The people. The civilians are gone, because the real fucking monsters have killed them. Who's gone, Grandpa? Your cards. Your strongest cards. Also, everyone in the town. It's a bloodbath outside. Oh, the humanity. The god cards? Not them. <laughs> Who did this? It wasn't anyone in town. They're all fucking dead from the monsters. Oh, God, the real monsters. <laughs> Yugi and his friends were at a loss on who could have stolen the cards when a package arrived in the mail. Hey kids, this came in the mail. It was the mailman's last act before he was stabbed in the head by Buster Blader. Oh. Who's it from? I'm not sure. My eyesight's not what it used to be because I'm covered in the entrails of the postman and they're on my face. Let's see here! From the office of Maximilian Pegasus! Wow, more like thanks a million Pegasus! <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. No, not Pegasus! That gay! Uh, what should we do? It's probably Pride merch. We should hear what he has to say. After all, I'm gay. I want some Pride merch. Pegasus did invent dual monsters. And you think he has something to do with what's been going on? Perhaps. Let's play the tape. Also, are you not a gay ally, Yugi? No, no, I am. I am. Then open my pride merch, bitch. It's Mina. Greetings, Yugi boy. I'm sure you're aware that my sexy body is back. I'm sure you're aware that dual monsters are suddenly running amok all over the, this world. All over this world of ours. <laughs> How trivial and silly am I, right? <laughs> I'm sure no one's dead. I know who's really behind this, and I know my behind is really good. <laughs> but enough about me. The only catch is it's too risky to leave you any information on this tape. So that means you have to come see me in person. You know, like you did before and I wanted to kill you. Say what? <laughs> There's no way we can trust that gay. Joey, 
guy. Sorry. What do you think, Yugi? Do you trust your fellow gay? Let's go! Pegasus may be our only hope! And he's currently the only living grinder match on, on my phone. They're all dead, see? He's dead. He's dead. He's de he's actually smaller than he lets on, but he's pretty good in the bed. Pharaoh? Sorry. Sorry. That's true. All right, then. I'm going. Because this talk about... You always talk about your hookups. It's a little much. I'm going. Then I'll be right there by your side, pal. Cut me here, too. I'm here. Thanks, guys. Back in the back in their ancient lair, the three card robbers, Raphael, Leonardo, jo <laughs> joking, how cool would that be though? Raphael, Alistair, and Ve Valen, Valon, Ve Val Valen, Valentine's Day, met with their master darts. Oh god, I need more voices, don't I? Uh, uh should I give him like a corporate voice? Like, we located the Pharaoh Master. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capture his soul. But I've never come back empty-handed. I present these cards to you. I've, I've got to... I'm sorry, I know. This is like, for those who know Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, I'm taking the darts voice. Just because that's the only voice I can ever hear him having. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> the Egyptian gods at, at long last, I finally possess the supreme force. Necessary to our Waikain, the great beast. The time has arrived, my friends. Finally, after one the, the ten thousand years, suck it, fucking Merrick. Yours was five thousand, mine was ten thousand. The great Leviathan shall rise again. Once I replenish you with enough souls, you shall inherit the strength to swallow the earth. No one will stop us. No one. It's really going off kilter. I don't like his voice. Um. Um. Uh, <laughs> um, I'd find Sephiro. <laughs> He's German now, yeah. I'd find Sephiro, and this time I'll make sure we drain him, his balls and his power, mine hair, <laughs> to feed the great beast, sir. Why don't you try listening, fuckstick? It's really a wonderful skill. If you master it, you'll, re you'll realize that we need the Pharaoh's soul. Uh, fuck. God, is he wearing a tank top? My god, look at that body. Wowee. He's dressed sluttier than my. Uh. Um. <laughs> help me, help me, help me, help me. I don't know. But now I'm clear with the other crew. Now I'm take care, man. Uh, fuck. God, I'm so unprepared today. I got my eye on someone. Oh, wait. I got my eye on someone. That feisty little bloke, Joey Wheeler. He should be fun to take apart. See, his voice is that he talks like he's got with the inflection that he's gonna keep talking. The Pharaoh and his friends are on their way to speak with the one we've been watching, the gay one on his OnlyFans. Just make sure that you can reach him before they do. What the fuck? Pegasus? <laughs> And to think I called you a bad listener. Now go see Pegasus at once. When Yugi and fuck, this is a long one, isn't it? When y I too, when Yugi and his friends arrived at Industrial Illusions, they were not greeted by Pegasus, but rather another familiar face. Hello, Pegasus. Your place is completely empty. <laughs> Shut up, Tristan. Fuck off. This is my show. I suspect the thieves that were after Pegasus may have already found him. And if that's the case, I'm sure they're expecting us. My? Is that you? I'm not my, but I sound like her. At least not the my you know. What? You heard me. All right, gang. Say hello to Pegasus. Uh, question. Did you th do that to him? When does she talk like that? Yeah! How does he like it, the little bitch? Trapping people on cards? This one's a spell card, too. Look, you better start talking, or you better start walking. What's the matter, Wheeler? Did your little reunion with mine not go as you expected it to? And you? Why are you keeping these guys all for yourself, Mai? Mind your own business, you fuckwit! 
These geeks are mine to deal with. Geeks? But we're your friends, Mai. Please, Mai, tell him this is a joke. Tell me. Don't tell him. Tell me this is a joke. You're on our side, remember? I was never a part of your little playgroup. And now I'm gonna break you apart one by one. And we'll are I'm starting with you. Oh. Did you wear a different outfit now? Yeah. It's more leathery. Do you like it? Not really. You look more like you're a part of 5Ds now. That's not a bad thing. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. It's just, I didn't see you as a leather chick. Oh, uh, oh, that's really your preference. I, I'm not really gonna comment on that. You were holding me back from achieving two power. So say hello to my little friends. My real friends. The seal of our Malos. Oh no, not this. I totally know what this is. It's Spellbinding Circle. It's not Spellbinding Circle! Bye, let's talk. There's gotta be a, a way to settle this. Sorry, hon. Ha! <laughs> Whoever loses the duel loses their soul. Jerry! If you lose the duel, you lose your soul. If you watch Yu-Gi-Oh! -Oh Bridge, you would, you would be giggling right now. This is gonna go a little longer because that was fucking long to- Holy shit. Sorry. <laughs> it's so hot, I'm not wearing a shirt right now and I'm like stuck to my leather chair. It really hurt. <laughs> Bye, Virgil. Each player shuffles all cards. From their hand, field, and graveyard into the deck, they draw five cards. What the fuck? I summoned the Panther Warrior. Bro. When was the last time we saw by? Uh, Doomless King. Doomless Kingdom? Really? I could have sworn it was more. No! Just like Joey, just like Yugi and Kai, but only duel three times. You're fucking with me. No, no, they gotta duel more. Well,. They do a fourth time in the movie, yeah, but it was only four, it was only that many times. No. No, they do it like every day. Nope. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Like my whole life is a lie. Are you serious, my Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. I hate that. I hate that fact that you told me. I summon Rocket Warrior. I, I'm not gonna have to get over this. I know, right? They always talk like they're fucking married, but nope. Three duel, three duels, and suddenly they're in love with each other. Bye, Rocket Warrior. Ah, the animation of him eating the Rocket Warrior is so graphic. Ah, is that his liver? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get used to it. Why? I activate the Sierra of Orokalkos. The oh, crap. Now you see, if I didn't have good old fiber jaw, this would be a real pain in my ass. The fuck is this thing? During your opponent's turn- Don't read it out loud, Joey! Oh yeah, you're right, you're sore. I'm sorry. During your opponent's turn, when this card is in your position- This card in your position is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect becomes the end of the turn. Well, good for fucking you. Alright, fiber jaw it is. I can't attack her right now. I sit a monster and I end my turn. Alright. Die, summon. You're shitting me, right? What? You're a sorcerer of Landstar? Yeah, but that's different. Why? Because I'm an idiot. You should know better. Anyway, fiber jar. Packed with fiber. Ha <laughs> ha You have a fiber line, Joey. That's real funny, my. See, I have. Okay, never mind. I can't. I can no longer criticize you on your card choice. Why did you draw something stupid? I drew something real fucking stupid. Why? Anyway, I summoned you with like the only fucking good card in my hand. Alligator sword. Oh, I'm gonna alligator swipe you in the alligator tits. Ah, my alligator tits. Hey, don't call that that. That's rude. I draw. I play harpies. Fuck Duster. Damn it. The card that wasn't really that useful to me. Yeah, whatever. All right, my. Do you like cards? Yeah, here's Dark Hole. Ah, I don't like that card. Here's Monster Reborn. Oh, no! Oh, muchos, muchos nos grande. You speak Spanish? I What I said was gibberish, so no. My opponent controls. Okay, so you would get nothing. I summon Battle Warrior. Okay. 
You're shitting me. Hey, he's actually still better than Hoppy Girl. Yeah, but it's thematic. Uh, this one's thematic. I like stupid ass warriors. Yeah, I guess, but like. I know, I know, I shouldn't have it. No swordsman of Lanska, but I got him, so we're just gonna use the work with the hand we've been dealt. Yeah, because you dealt it from a shitty dick. Alright, Mai. Come on now. <laughs> hey, one direct hit and I win. That's probably a mirror force or mirror wall card. But I got my back. I summon Quappy Cat. You summon Quappy Cat. Okay. That's actually a good one. Alright, copycat's gonna kiss your boydy. No, oh, birds are like berries in their cages. They attack him. Yeah. And it attacked my mirror. So what's the point? I don't know. I died. Goodbye, boy. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> this has been such a sad episode. Goodbye, my. Goodbye, Battle City. Ugh, oh, so sad. I can't. I can't go back there. I gave up everything just to be a winner. Hey, my. What? Chicken butt. Fuck off. Can't lose. Won't go back there. Have to win. Did you get new socks? I like those socks. My focus. Sorry. Oh, well, she lost it. V Van Lin Van Valon <laughs> my Valentine's. Ah, oh, do you get my funny joke? What are you doing, bitch? With, with this fragment of the Oracle Stone, I unlock the seal. Joey, are you all right, Joey? You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. What are you thinking, Valentine's Day? You betrayed Master Darts and risked your own soul. Oh my. And you meant to tell me you did it all so you could save some girl, Valon. This is why I am a homosexual as well. Also, my little chops here is very, very strange, hard to grow facial hair, but I've got it then even. I'm quite proud of this. She's not just some girl. She's like the only girl. Where's my? Did those punks take her? Guess so. Was it established by the narrator? Good job. I'm doing the best I can with this shitty part of the show, okay? She's in full sucks dick. I'm here. Oh no, I was so close. I'll get you back, my. Da 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 Okay, you know what? Fantastic episode, everyone. I am very proud of all of us. We've all done this very well. 10 out of 10. You're amazing. You look great. I'm very happy you're all doing well. I have enough energy for one more. Fuck it. It won't be a Yu-Gi-Oh one, but it's something else I've got planned. Um, thank you very much. I mean, I'm still gonna do Yu-Gi-Oh. Let me, let me, let me, let me clear that up. I'm still gonna do all of Yu-Gi-Oh. And then we'll see. If you guys are still happy to, I would really love to do GX. I might take a bit of like a, a break, like a week or two break from it, but I, I don't know. I'll see how things go. I, I would really like to keep doing this game. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna promise all of the stories, but I'm not, not promising it either. Really based on like your guys' interest and retention at that point, because you know, if you don't want to see it, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> anyway, I've been talking long enough. This is a long enough episode. Thank you guys and girls and all my non-binary pals for joining us. I really can't wait to see more adventures with you guys. Okay, bye!